Good morning, Vaisalya. First, welcome to the Daily Devo. I want to read a verse out of 1 Kings 19, but I just want to give some context before I do. And so in this story, we see Elijah the prophet. He had just killed the prophets of Baal. Jezebel threatens to kill him. So he runs into the wilderness because he's afraid for his life. He asks God to kill him. He's in this moment of deep despair and grief, feeling like he's the only one left, wanting to cut it all short until God meets him in the middle of his wilderness, in the middle of his despair and he calls him out he says Elijah what are you doing here why are you out here why are you trying to end your life and in 1st Kings 19 15 to 16 the Lord tells him and he says to him go back the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus when you get there anoint Haziel king over Aram also anoint Jehu son of Nimshi king over Israel and anoint Elisha son of Shaphat from Abel Maloah to succeed you as prophet you see Elijah wanted to be done he wanted to throw in the towel but God was not finished with him yet because there was a generation of, of young men below him that were going to rise up to take the next position in leadership but they needed Elijah to pass the baton and so I want to encourage you that you are not finished yet that God needs you to pass on the mantle to the next generation because we serve a God who works generationally and what he started in our generation he wants to complete with the next and so I want to encourage you that you are not finished that God is using you to pass the mantle to the next generation and so who is it in your life that God is asking you to pass the mantle to who is it in your life that God is asking you to pass on what you've learned to them because they are waiting on you to step into the calling in their life and so I hope that encourages you and I hope you pray about it this today and in this coming week about who you're supposed to be passing that mantle to because we are supposed to leave a lasting legacy as followers of Christ. And so I hope that encourages you. Have a great week.